Hey guys, welcome back to YouChat tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you the updates about Google Sheet integration. And in tutorial number 32, we've introduced about how to integrate with Google Sheet to manage user data, and we've shown you how to add the row, how to search a row, and how to update a row. YouChat has upgraded the integration, and now we have a formal function with the integration. I will show you how to get multiple row from the table, how to delete, clear a row, and how to get a random row in the table. Apart from that, we also have some little updates on the uh, flow builders, like uh, the preview feature, the pagination feature, and the uh, for each function I will show you during the demonstration. Now let's get started. Okay, so before everything, let me show you the table we're going to use today. So the first row is the name of the column. Now we have three products in total, burger, pizza, cheese pizza, and their price, their description. And let me show you how to get multiple row. Okay, so we first ask for a keyword from the user and store in the keyword variable and then in the action click integration then Google Sheets edit action choose get multiple rows select the spreadsheet the worksheet and then so by that keyword the name if the name contains the keyword then we get those row okay so sorted my like row index ascending you can use this preview match row button to see which row match your condition. For example, let's put pizza. Okay, let's preview. Now we can see we have pizza and cheese pizza match my condition here. Okay, let's change it back. Okay, and limitations set to 30, save it to products and save okay so when when not fun or fail let me choose failed so you can give some prompts like for example no no result with keyword please try again and yeah like that and in the show result send message we can use for each to show your result, choose products and then the item name, item price with this format, item description, and then give a add to cart button. Okay, let's test it in. Oh, oh, one more thing. So you might notice that there is one more one more button when you click the step. This button is a preview button, so it allows you to test the flow from this specific step. So beforehand, when you test a flow, you always need to study from the main flow, the very beginning. But now with the preview feature, you can select a step and just start uh, the testing from this step. Okay, now click send to messenger, open the messenger. And now we have studied from the uh, welcome send message step. Okay, so pagination. Let's get multiple row, input a keyword, pizza, okay, so I get pizza and cheese pizza, alright, and we know that you can show 10 cards at most in one message, what if I have more than 10 search results, 10 products to show, as I said, one of um, the update for our flow builder is pagination feature. So it's in for each type. It's here. Before the updates, you need several action step, send message step to operate the big JSON to make several small JSONs with 10 items at most. Now you can easily make it with just the pagination setting here. So let's make it uh, 10 items per, per page and then maximum total item. Make it 30 and then so that's three pages in total, and uh, you can edit uh, the quick reply title here, next page. And uh, 
publish and let me copy some more uh, products since because I just have three products right now. Okay, now you see I have 28, 28 minus 1, so that's 27 products in total. So let's see. Let's test it. This time I'm studying from I'm studying from just this action step. I'm going to change the uh, delete this condition so the system will show every product in the table. And uh, okay, so publish and let's test it. Send a message messenger. Well, okay. It since you started from this, so it directly show you the show result. Okay, now I have burger. Okay, let me add one more sample. The row index will make it easier too. Okay, so this is the row 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and that's 10 in total. And here you have a next page button automatically generated for you, and you click it to see the next page. Okay, start it from 12, this is 11, this is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, and yet I have another next page because I have 27 in total so yeah oh, row, I have row 28 but that's 27 uh, product in total okay this is the pagination great that's how we get multiple row now let's have a look at the next one delete and clear row um, so what is the differences between delete and clear so in your so in your table If I delete a row, so let's delete. Okay, now we see the row three now becomes the row two, and everything following change their row index. And if I clear a row, so clear a row now, row two become blank, and all the rest remains their uh, row index. So that's the differences. And uh, in your action step, okay. Edit action, then choose clear or delete row, and again choose your table, and then add filter if you need. For example, I add um, if the price, I don't know, is the, if the name is if the name is burger. Okay, save it and sort it by name. And now, so you can choose how many row you are going to delete. The result varies depends on how you sort the, your column. If I change to sort by row index ascending, then row number four will be deleted. Change to descending, then row number 25 will be deleted. So it's different, depends on how you sort your result. Great. So if I choose maximum 10, then row four to 25 will be deleted because their name is burger. Okay, and that's about how to delete row now. I'm going to show you how to get a random row. So select get random row, again choose, okay, again choose your condition. So I'm not going to put any condition, so this will uh, give me a row from 2 to 28 randomly. So now I get 26 and preview, this time 11, 21, Number nine, yeah, that's how you get a random row, and then you can store it in your um, variable to show it later. Yeah. Okay, that's all about our new feature. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please comment below, and see you next time.